Hello, my name is Roland Wagner. Today I'd like to introduce you to the new features of Codesys in quarter 4, 2024. Quick and simple. Let's start with the new features in the Codesys letter diagram editor. We have improved usability for connecting parallel branches. There is now a convenient shortcut for linking variables faster. In online mode, you can also jump directly from a function block to the associated instance simply by double-clicking. This makes it easier for you to navigate within complex programs. Plus, you can now display bitmap graphics on function blocks in the ladder diagram to enhance visual representation. The new connection API for Ethernet IP allows you to query the number of existing connections. You can also use it to obtain detailed information about these connections, for example, about statues, counter values, errors, and parameters, based on the base connection structure of the SIP object library. For more information on how to use the API, see the library documentation. Let's take a look at Codesys visualization. In version 4.7.0.0, we have improved the implementation of responsive design. Visualization elements can now adapt in size or position to different screens on tablets, cell phones, or monitors. The new features allows you to customize the display in scaled and unscaled mode, making layout design much more flexible. Another highlight is the support for time data types in the XY diagram display. Time formats such as hour, minute, second or day, month, year can now be displayed and formatted on the X and Y axis, which simplifies the analysis of time-dependent data. We have also significantly improved alarm features. They now include new APIs for alarm instances, improved management of alarm groups and alarm templates, and optimized performance in case of changes. We've also expanded support for user-defined types and their alarm processing. In the area of scripting, we have added important functions that allow you to create and edit visualizations and elements in a program-controlled way. We've completely revised the Codesys Control Deploy tool. With the new version 4.14.0.0, you can now install and configure various controllers consistently and efficiently using just one single tool. This applies equally to soft PLCs, virtual controllers and edge gateways. We have already presented the new deploy tool in more detail in another video. Please find the link to this video in the video description. Another important information that affects all runtimes of version 4.14.0.0. Unfortunately, a bug prevents licensing via the license manager. On Windows, you can activate your licenses via the web depot, license.codesys.com. On Linux, the runtime must first be updated or downsized to version 4.13.0.0 and activated on this older version. After that, you can update to version 4.14.0.0. Of course, runtimes that have already been licensed will continue to function. This bug has already been fixed with Codesys version 3.5 service pack 20 patch 5 in January 2025. There's good news for you regarding the Codesys automation server. The new certificate management makes it easier for you to handle certificates for connected PLCs and edge gateways. You can display all certificates in a clear list that can be filtered and sorted. Expiring certificates are marked in color, just like in the development system. Certificates can be loaded to and from controllers, moved between different trust stores, created and deleted. On the subject of secure data transfer, the connections between Codesys Edge Gateway and Automation Server and clients such as browsers or the Codesys development system, they have always been TLS encrypted. What is new is the option to encrypt the connection between the Edge Gateway and the PLCs. Several functions are available 
to you at the same time. Connection check, one click encryption, activation and deactivation, and encryption checking for multiple devices. In CodeSys version 3.5, Service Pack 20, patch 4, we have implemented two important improvements. We have added a new compiler switch to save mode. Save mode shutdown. It shuts down the runtime in the next cycle when save mode is triggered. With save mode disable, save mode has no effect, but a lock expansion message is locked. We have also improved the display of licensed software in the license matrix screen. A warning message now informs you that other required licenses, such as soft motion light or IoT libraries, are not displayed and refers you to further information. The following product will enter the service phase within the next 12 months. CodeSys Safety ProfiSafe version 2.4. The following products will exit the service phase and be discontinued within the next 12 months. Number one, CodeSys Runtime Toolkit Windows CE on April 1st, 2025. Well, Windows CE is no longer supported by Microsoft, even if you have extended support. Number two, usage of child applications with CodeSys version 3.5 service pack 21. Already since version 3.5 service pack 20, no new child applications can be added to projects. While further use is still possible, it is not recommended due to the lack of support. For a full list of discontinued products, please visit the CodeSys website. Thank you for watching.